Welcome to a praise in the morning. Uh, today's Psalm 21. It's Easter, Bank Holiday Monday, yesterday. Many people, many Christians, we would state in, He is risen. Well, today He's still risen. And this Psalm is a, a Psalm 20, Psalm 21, is one that shows us that there is the, the accomplishment of the King and that it joins with Psalm 20 as a as it were, after the battle, rejoicing in the strength of God. So if you maybe you've had a bit of a high yesterday in your Christian experience and then Monday morning, it's not just Monday morning, normal Monday morning, it's Monday morning after Easter Sunday, and you're wondering, is it all still real? And yes, it is. He's still risen. So I'm going to read Psalm 21 from the NIV. It's a Psalm of David. O Lord, the King rejoices in your strength. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You have granted him the desire of his heart and have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah. You welcomed him with rich blessing and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. You asked, he asked you for life and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him eternal blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. Your hand will lay hold on all your enemies. Your right hand will seize your foes. At the time of your appearing, you will make them like a fiery furnace. In his wrath, the Lord will swallow them up and his fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth their posterity from mankind. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed, for you will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with drawn bow. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. Amen. A Psalm of David, a praise and rejoicing of the exultant strength of the Lord in victory. Where Psalm 20 is before the day of battle. Psalm 21 is, is the second part of the story that the accomplishment of the king in battle has succeeded and God has fulfilled the desire of the heart of the king. So if you're thinking about Easter, and you're thinking about the battle of the, as it were, the cross, the battle of the defeat of sin through Jesus himself, Know and see, read this psalm, it kind of speaks, I've never really noticed this before, but it speaks deeply into the heart and life of the battle of the Christian. Not just in the ultimate battle for the victory of the King of Jesus over sin and death, but it speaks into the continuing battle of our lives that we need to put our trust in that King. This is wonderful. Think of the things that have been granted to the king. Not here, yes, it speaks of David, but we can see beyond that into the nature of the, the, the king of kings. He asked for life, and you gave it to him. Length of days, forever and ever. It's an eternal life in Jesus. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. Think of the greatness of the glory that has been given to Jesus through the Father, through his victory on the cross. How wonderful it is and exultant it is to have praised him on Easter Sunday and shout he is risen. How more wonderful it is to continue to praise and rejoice him day after day after day because his victory is forever and ever. Life, length of days, ever and ever. Surely, you have granted him eternal majesty. Ah, oh, this is the great promise of the, the of God to, do, to fulfill the desire of the heart, not just to David, but through his descendants to he that comes, the King of Kings. Eternal blessings. Wow. And made him glad with the joy of your presence. The King rejoices in the presence of the Father. Of God. Jesus rejoices in the presence of his Father, the great unity of the Trinity. Jesus, having risen, 
out of the grave, out of death, now rejoices in the very presence of God, victorious, eternally blessed, life forevermore, forever and ever. For the King trusts in the Lord. Jesus upon the cross had to trust in his Father. This is going to, as we go into Psalm 22 tomorrow, it is, we're going to see the stark contrast of this trust where he has to fall, as it were, upon his knees. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But the king trusts and went through the turmoil, went through the lament, through the reality of death. And God gave him the victory. For the king trusts in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. The psalm goes on to talk about his victory over the enemies, that it is a continuing victory. And it goes on, they shall not succeed, though they devise schemes against him. They shall not, they will turn, not be able to succeed, because God stands against them. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. As a Christian, what else do we have to sing about? We have his unfailing love, his great victory, his great blessings in heaven that have been wrought through the death and blood of Christ and through the victory of the Father as the King, the Messiah Jesus, put his trust in God through the cross. Easter Sunday, sing and praise, he is risen, he is victorious over death. Well, he's still victorious. He still sings. There is still praise in heaven. There is still an eternal blessing. His length of days forever and ever. The king rejoices in the strength of God. Think about that. This very start of the psalm. How great is his joy in the victories you give. As David would rejoice in the victories God gave him as king. So does Jesus rejoice in the victories that the Father has given him in heaven. Think of the great glory and the great praise of the relationship of Jesus, the Father and the Spirit, rejoicing in the work that has been done for the eternal salvation of those that turn and show their hearts open to God. How great is his joy in the victories you give. How great is the joy of Jesus. That joy still stands, it still lasts, it is not diminished. It is part of the everlasting blessing, part of the length of days, forever and ever. So until I, I'm going to bring this short video to a close. Wonderful. Continue and we sing with the psalmist, say and pray with the psalmist. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. Amen.